what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King Johnson for and today people I would like to talk about the new operation that's coming up for Rainbow Six Siege on next month which is going to be called Operation Outbreak if you guys have not seen any of the new trailers I suggest to jump over right now to YouTube and watch all the trailers because they are amazing they're revealing a lot of clues on what to expect for this mode and if you guys do not know what mode is coming up for Rainbow Six Siege it's going to be a zombie mode for God's sakes this zombie mode is going to be for sure exciting to play on I'm going to be live streaming like crazy now there is a sad part about this whole operation though it's going to be only for one month it's already been revealed that like, it's been said like oh it's going to be from March 1st to March 31st only so it kind of it's kind of still exciting, but at the same time it sucks because they're not making it permanent. So I'm hopeful after that month, uh, if it does go good for the game, you know, for the zombie mode and all, because they're expecting numbers. If the numbers are good, they might bring it back until October, if not even earlier than that. So hopefully it goes good so we can play that mode again. For me, it, it, it already sounds exciting, but we need some gameplay footage, you know, what to expect on. And I do have my own theories on what to expect on this new mode. So my first theory though that I really want to share is that we're only going to be able to play with four characters. Ash, Thermite, Tachanka, and Doc. Because those are the only four characters that are being called up for this operation. If you guys saw the trailers, those are the only four characters being mentioned. And that's it. And Thermite wants to nuke the whole damn town. That's something interesting to look at too. It's freaking... that guy's crazy. Even Tachanka too with the damn lame ass joke, but whatever. But like, yeah, those are the only four characters, characters being called up. So expect only four characters to be used in the whole mode, which kind of sucks though. I really wanted to use Blackbeard or maybe some other character like IQ or, uh, you know, Twitch. You know, they have great weapons, but instead we're just going to be using those four characters. So, I don't know, that part is kind of questionable. I don't like to be limited on choices like that, but... I guess I'll respect it. They wanted to make it a little bit more tactical on uh, how do you survive and all that stuff. So you got to really plan things out to survive against these waves of zombies. So my other theory is what maps are we going to be playing on? If you guys have not been playing Rainbow Six Siege lately, they release two maps, two huge ass maps. Like they're super freaking big. On one of them, I cannot even find the damn stairs. In Operation White Noise, they release a damn huge ass mall with a like, teriyaki kitchen on it. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's a Chinese kitchen or something. Uh, but I don't know the map name, but I know it came out during Operation White Noise, which is the recently released one. Uh, that map is huge as hell. So they might use the two huge ass maps that recently released, which is that one, and also the other map that came out with uh, with a carnival in it. I believe it has a carnival surrounding it, and then there's a big ass scary, scary mansion. So those two maps are going to be used for sure, because they're huge, right? If not, they might pull an Activision and say like, oh no, you can only be able to play one map, and that's about it. But my biggest wish is that hopefully they do zombify all the maps. That will be fun to play in, man. Imagine, look at this background gameplay right now. Imagine playing on that map, that small house, and trying to defend yourself against zombies. That will be amazing, though. So, it's still a lot of questions to be asked for, like, what to expect from this game. But everything, all the reveal is going to be coming out during February the 16th, which is good, though. So, it's pretty soon. But, uh, you know, another theory that I really want to share, guys, is what modes are we, we going to be playing? If you guys ever played Situations in Rainbow Six Siege, it might be similar to it. Instead of killing people with guns and suicidal bombers, you're actually going to be killing zombies instead with suicidal zombies also. So, um, if you play Situations, you might have already played Zombies. <laughs> that's my wild theory right there that's a wild guess like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna nail it at some point but and people are gonna be saying like oh you were right Joe like man I always knew I was right <laughs> no but like for reals um, if you played situations you might have already played zombies it might be like that where every single map is gonna be able to be like zombie fight and all that stuff which is hopefully it is because I don't want to I don't want to play in those huge two huge ass maps and that's it like hopefully they don't pull an Activision and be a little bit more creative with it so uh, that's my theory that's my opinion about this game mode it's going to be exciting to play on if you guys are interested in playing with me on these zombie modes and the live streams message me right now add me on add me on uh, PSN and um, I'll add you back so it's going to be an amazing month next month for sure I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege